Hey guys, thanks for joining me here at BZB Gear. Uh, today I'm going to go over how to connect your live streaming IP uh, PTZ camera to uh, YouTube. So how do you stream the camera directly to YouTube is what this is all about versus using a streamer or another encoding device. Um, so it's very simple overall, quick and easy. I'm going to go over it. I got a little um, demonstration here. So let's get going. So first thing you're going to do is create a YouTube channel if you haven't already, of course. And then the second thing you're going to need to do is to apply for live streaming capabilities. Typically takes about 24 hours before you get approval. Um, once that 24 hours has passed though, you're good to go. Um, so you're going to want to go to your YouTube channel. For instance, here's my dashboard. And you're going to want to go to your create on the top right corner. So I'm going to go ahead and select create and select go live. Here on the left, we can see we have stream, a webcam, manage, stream now classic. Uh, make sure that you select stream if it's not already chosen. Many times it defaults to webcam. And we're going to create a title, streaming to YouTube. I'm going to make this uh, private. You can also create a link for other people to be able to jump in. And we can do a little description. And you can actually schedule these for later, but we're not going to, as well as upload a custom uh, thumbnail for reference. I'm going to say no, it's not made for kids for this particular purpose. And after that, you're pretty much set and good to go right here. All right, so we're going to go ahead and hit create stream on the YouTube channel. As you can see, we have our title here and you can see it's trying to connect uh, streaming software to the preview. So let's go to our camera. If you've already networked your camera, then you're good to go. If you haven't, make sure you check out our video, how to network your IP streaming camera uh, to match the subnet for your local area network. That'll get you um, online so you can actually see the web GUI with your laptop, Wi-Fi, or Ethernet. I always recommend plugging in if you can. I personally plug in. It, it avoids a lot of latency that Wi-Fi tends to um, create. So both of our devices are hardwired in. As you can see, we have our preview window. This is our uh, camera in the studio. Okay, so now we're going to go to our configuration. This is where we're going to find our options to adjust audio, video, whatnot. For audio, I recommend enabling this box here and making sure to select uh, AAC for the best performance. 128 kilobytes per second is a good way to go in stereo too. You can select your input volume if you do have a microphone or something connected to the camera and just click save once you have that configured. Next, we're gonna go to our stream publish. We have a mainstream and a substream. We're going to be using our mainstream to go directly to YouTube. And that's where our highest resolution is. Substream is just a lower resolution for backup. And as you can see, we have our host address right here, 192.168.5.11. Uh, we're going to change this by copying and pasting the YouTube stream URL. So as you can see, it's right here. Hit copy. Okay, and then we are going to get our key. We need a stream key. You can actually click this little uh, visual thing. It gives you 10 seconds to see the stream key. And there it is. Click enable on the top and click save. Make sure your host port is 1935 for YouTube. Um, for instance, if you're using Facebook, you're gonna actually change this to 443. So let's check out our YouTube. As you can see, it's already making a connection. It says connection is excellent. So that's good news for us. That's what we wanna see. And here's our window. We don't have audio going to our camera right now, but you can again connect a microphone or um, embed audio. 
And there are other options with YouTube as well uh, as far as enabling auto start, auto stop, um, and DVR. I, I recommend definitely enabling the DVR option as that's going to give your viewers up to four hours of time to be able to rewind in case they, they missed something, they had to get up and go to the bathroom or the dog's barking or whatnot, then you have that option. Latency normal is pretty typical. Um, there's closed captions. And so as you can see, we're pretty much good to go here. So our camera looks good. We've got all our settings proper. And now we go back to our YouTube and we've got a stream. So let's click up here and go live. And as you can see, it said we're live. So we have success there with our connection and it's recording away. Once you've gone live, you can go ahead and click in stream when you're completed with your uh, recording. You can also click new stream once you've ended that. You can edit this in the studio. So if I wanted to go to the studio, it's pretty granular, but there's some basic options there as far as trimming up the video, which is very convenient. Save changes up here, discard changes. And overall, that's pretty much it, folks. Uh, relatively simple. It's as easy as copy and pasting a couple uh, a URL and a stream key, uh, making sure your host port is accurate, and you are good to go. Um, stay tuned. Next, we'll be covering Facebook. Until then, have a good day. Please feel free to uh, email, call, hit us up in chat, whatever's convenient. Call our technical support if you have any issues. We'd be happy to help you at any time. Thank you very much, and have a good day.